It's the flower pot versus Glass Charlie's Tasty Tube. 500 odd pounds versus 50 pounds. Which will come out on top of these big hitting home vaporizers? Let's find out. I am extremely happy that George decided to do this comparison because after so many people bought the Glass Charlie Tasty Tube for the price that it was, we haven't, we haven't had a single complaint, in all honesty. When it comes to the actual performance of it, no one's complained, just because it's so great. And now George wants to pair it up against this 500 pound device. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we were so blown away by Glass Charlie's Tasty Tube when we did that last video. You could see it in our faces. We were like, what, <laughs> what is this? This guy's come out with this homemade British vaporizer out of- British glass. British glass hand blown vaporizer you know a sort of recession busting low cost vape yeah and yet it was giving us those kind of hits that you get from these high end heavy hitting plug in desktops so we had to put them head to head and see how do they actually measure up and personally so, i noticed a comment that said oh yeah, the Glass Charlie Tasty Tube will never be as refined as the flower pot. So let's put it up against each other. I think there's some truth to that because obviously I've got temperature control on this. Of course. You don't on that. But once you've dialed into the, the technique, I think you can get just as good a hit from the Tasty Tube. So I really want to put it to the test. Yeah. And uh, let's see, have you dialed in that technique? Can we actually get similar hits out of these? It's going to be interesting to find out. So I'm using the... Flower Pot B1 injector. I had to think about that because it's kind of hard to keep all these straight in my head. Um, which is we've got a nice glass bowl, so it's quite similar, I think, in style to the kind of hit that you're going to get off the Tasty, Tasty Tube, tube. glass. Chopper. Right. Yeah. So, and the Tasty Tube, it's got the glass bowl kind of in this inner tube, and then this outer tube goes over it which you're heating with a blowtorch, not for very long. How long would you say? You I'd say it's about 20 to 30 seconds. You'd rather go under than over, that's for sure. But what I was going to say about Glass Charlie's uh, Tasty Chip, it's so easy. Like, look how easy this is. One piece, two piece, put it together yeah. and just hold it. Yeah, probably a little more fragile than the... Of um, course, yeah, you're going to have to be... But, you know, um, again, it's, it's a lot, lot lower cost. So, yeah, okay, well, let's give it a go. Do you want to do the honours and start heating up your yeah. tasty tube there? Absolutely. So yeah, exactly like Andreas is doing, you're just heating up the outer glass and kind of spinning it a little bit. You don't even really have yeah. to spin it that much. It, it's, and when it picks up that sort of reddish glow, you can kind of see it. The glass sort of takes on that reddish glow from the heat. That is about the time I'd say it's probably Tell ready Tell me when to you think I should stop, George. You know, it's when when you take the, the flame away from it, it still glows that kind of reddish, that orangey color. I think that's when you're ready I'd say to go. three more seconds. Yeah, okay. It is possible to combust with the tasty tube. So it's one of those things you kind of have to do a bit of trial and error. So yeah, go ahead. There we go. We're getting a nice milky cloud already. Coming in through the big baller there. Look at that, it's full extraction. You can see the color of the herb up at the top of that bowl there. I couldn't, I wouldn't go in for another hit after that because we were right on the edge of combustion, I would say. I think I've heated up slightly too long. Did it, did it actually combust? I'm not sure. It's very, very dark in color, isn't it? It's on the fine line, I'm not right sure. on the edge, but it doesn't seem like smoke to me. No, There's not that no. thick yellow smoke. Right, right on the edge. So and learn your technique, guys. Yeah, almost maybe those three extra seconds. I should have end. done those three seconds, because otherwise I'd have got a perfect hit. But I, I think if you'd gone in for, a, for another draw, yeah. you might have pulled a little bit too much. But it's on the line, you're right. Yeah. But yeah, there's no smoke. That was vapor. Yeah. It's just absolute, okay, now maybe a little bit of smoke. But no, it's... It's just full extraction. It's that, really weird, yeah. That is right as close as you can get to combust. I think it's actually combusting now. No, as we speak, in yeah. Yeah, yeah, because now I'm getting the smell of smoke coming through. So that is that shows you what it can do. Like, quite powerful just from that little bit of blowtorch heating. I'm just going to quickly clean this up with a Q-tip and come back and take my hit again. So okay. be right back.
So here we go, we've actually taken out the herb, like Andreas was almost convinced that he combusted there, but I was like, there's no smoke in the air here. And you, we took out the herb and we looked at it, and you can see some of that is very, very dark, almost black, but it's not combusted. We've gone right up to the limit of what you can do with vaporization, right up to the edge. Like you say, if you'd pulled the neck another time, now it might have combusted. For sure but we just saved it there and that is quite incredible. I have to give Anvil credit to this saying, but I was literally riding the line there. Yeah, I was riding definitely the line. riding the line. And some people say that's too hot for them, but I would say, look, if you can get that without the kind of dialed in temp control that you get with a flower pot, then, you know, that that is testament to how Or no joke, the, no joke intended. A person that's just coming off smoking would find this ideal. Exactly. That roasty it's, flavor. It's as close to smoking as you can get without actually smoking, without actually burning the material. That's quite incredible. So I'm going to try again, George, and hopefully... Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. You try again. While you're loading that up, I'm going to take a hit from the flower pot here. So I've got the B1 injector here. Similar sort of load of herb. You can see the nice clean green color of my herb in the bowl there, the CBD flower. Let's take a nice big draw. And also what you'll notice is that George has a temperature control and I don't. So maybe just that feature might make the flower pot worth it for you. But I believe with the glass Charlie Tasty Tube, you can dial in your technique if you try really hard. Whoa, George, whoa. So yeah, I got a really, really big hit there. Wow, quite a powerful, oh, quite a powerful hit that was. And actually, I was pulling for a long time there. I really tried to really milk it because I was trying to get as close as I could to the color of the herb yeah. that you produce with the Tasty Tube. Yeah. But I didn't get anywhere near it, actually. I'm going to do a little side by side here so that we can see. You can see my herb is quite a bit lighter in color. I got a really big, powerful yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. I, but I that. didn't get as close to a full extraction no. as you did. And yeah, maybe I could turn the temperature up a bit higher and get closer to that. The nice thing about this, I don't have to worry about whether I'm combusting or not. That is the nice thing that, about it. Yeah. That, you know, sustained temperature. So yeah. I've now loaded it again. I believe okay. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Take two on the tasty tube. Let's see how this goes. I've got my hands full I'm of... fine. I'll give you a little technique. You see that little pointy flame on the inside of the flame? You find that? I get that okay. right close right, up to okay. the glass, yeah. I'm a bit too cautious sometimes, that's all. <laughs> there we go. You can see that orange glow picking up I'm on gonna the glass I'm going to stop in now. two seconds. One, two. I'm going to risk okay. it again. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and this is what, what I please, yeah. When I'm using gonna... it, like I find the first hit. Now I wouldn't go for a second. I'd I'd take a second hit now, without reheating. It starts to. It's almost like the heat has to be pulled through. Now you're getting a bit more of a thicker cloud on the second hit, and that's the mistake that that I think a lot of people might make, is they think it's not hot enough. It just hasn't quite warmed up. I've the used the taste of chew myself when I was about to make that mistake. So <laughs> right. thank you, George, for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very similar actually to the to the flower pot hit that I did, I think, that second hit. So a little bit more restraint. Let's just empty it out and do that. We, we can do the three-way comparison. Yeah, it's it's a little bit lighter, I'd say. Ooh. It looked like this one could have gone for a bit. Yeah, you could have maybe <laughs> you could have maybe got another another hit out of it. Maybe that second heat up wasn't a bad idea. But yeah, there you go. You you know, you see you, the range of different kinds of hits you can get as well is quite big. You don't necessarily have to extract everything in one if you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And you don't have to fill this hole because that's quite a big bowl on the yeah. tasty chip. Yeah, we know that, yeah. You don't have to fill it all the way either. But there you go. I mean, what do you think? Can the tasty tube hold its own against the flower pot oh if that's the question absolutely the tasty tube can hold its own against the flower pot now back to that comment is it as refined as the flower pot no it's not of course it's not but the point is a 50 pound all glass vaporizer is giving you 
80 to 90 percent of what this 500 pound device can do so again glass charlie well done man what have you created it's amazing yeah i think there's no question that it can give you the same kind of hits that the flower pot can give you yeah like it can absolutely give you a full extraction big sort of bell ringing <laughs> like maniac hit the other side of it is it takes a bit of trial and error to really get those temperatures yeah, dialed Yeah, but in. one thing I'd mention, I don't use a tasty tube every day. If I were to use it every day like a DynaVap, you know how you dial in your DynaVap technique so quick? It would be exactly similar with the yeah, tasty tube. we've seen some of our crew on Instagram and oh, on, on Discord um, really the getting the technique yeah. dialed in. Is it UberDog? UberDog, yeah. He yeah. sent us an Instagram video. Oh my God, that technique was impressive. Well done, man. <laughs> So yeah, it takes a bit of practice, but it's certainly a powerful vaporizer and there's no question about that. And when you're saving yourself 400 odd pounds, yeah. you know, it's, it's kind of a no brainer. I think yeah. everybody really needs to have a glass Charlie yeah. Tasty Tube in their cupboard, I would Absolutely, say. Absolutely, yeah. So check it out for yourself and let us know what you think. Would you get a flower pot or a Tasty Tube? Let us know in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, we've been Vape Thank you. Take it easy.